Hi, everyone. This is Douglas at PCC. And I'm a pretend pediatrician in private practice. I need to bill for phone calls and maybe bill for the work my practice is doing in patient portal messages. So in PCC EHR, you can schedule a telemedicine encounter, a chart and bill as you would any other encounter. Yes, Douglas, we do telemedicine encounters, but I also need to bill for phone calls. Okay, great. Uh, let's take a call. Let's pretend Abby's mom calls about a rash, and we talk for almost half an hour. All right, that makes sense. Uh, the first rule of billing for phone call encounters, they must be initiated by the patient or the parent, so that qualifies. So I will find Abby. I could open her chart, but I think I'll click Add Phone Note down here in the lower right corner to jump right to a new phone note. Or my nurse might have done that part, and I'd be opening this note when I call the family back. Great. On a phone note, your practice enters call details. Uh, when you're going to bill for a phone encounter, make sure you record information you need for billing a visit and supporting the claim. My practice has customized the phone note, so we can do that more easily. Yes, your practice can create a custom phone note, and we'll cover a few tips. We definitely recommend you enter a clear subject. Let's see. And then detailed clinical information that would lead to a diagnosis. Note everything you talked about. That's no problem. I'm a fast typer. Next, I should record the length of the call. Do you think I should keep a timer? Yes, I do. It's important to be specific here. And then I select one or more diagnoses. Right, and you might add orders, uh, billable medical procedures down below too. Uh, when you're done, save and click bill. Oh, this is the electronic encounter form, just like I see for an appointment or a telemedicine visit. Exactly, yeah, you know what to do. Uh, confirm that the right diagnoses for billing are on there, uh, scroll to the bottom, uh, review any procedures, and pick an appropriate encounter code. Okay, it looks like my practice has added telephone E&M codes here. I'm going to select 99443. Great. And uh, to the coders out there, these are just examples. Coding telemedicine is sometimes a moving target. PCC has some coding recommendations on learn.pcc.com. Uh, now you'll click Next, uh, Review the Codes, Units, and Linking. And then make the phone note ready for billing. You got it. Uh, you can go ahead and uh, sign this phone note, and you're done. Great. Uh, now, what does my biller do? Okay, you, you might know that billers can already use the schedule screen to find and post appointments and telemedicine visits. Uh, when they're ready for billing, you can see they've got it over here in the billing column and a signing column, too. Now, the biller can jump over to the messaging queue to post charges for phone notes or portal messages. Uh, there's the call you just made, ready to post. Uh, and a quick note to billers about this queue, you definitely want to adjust these filters down here at the bottom, uh, like the billing status filter to watch for statuses. I would make sure you display all statuses. Um, you want to watch out for the due date filter. Yeah, you don't want to miss billing an encounter because it's got a long-term task on it. So set your filters and save your defaults. And then the biller can just click where it says ready to post. That's right. They'll get access to all the patient details or chart sections they might need over here on the left. Uh, for example, they'll probably want to double check that this phone call is not for the same reason as another visit just a few days ago. Uh, your billers probably know these rules uh, or ask PCC for help with that. Uh, then they can use post charges down here. I've seen the post charges screen before. My biller can adjust location up here. So if they need a telehealth billing place of service, they can select that. Right. 
and they can adjust or add a diagnosis, a procedures. Uh, maybe they can switch to a modified code if they need to, uh, adjust claim information, even enter payment information if they need to. Let's pretend I did everything perfectly on the encounter form and the biller's job is easy today. I will click save and post. And you're done. Charges are posted. Uh, the biller can see that posted right there on the messaging queue. And PCCEHR queues up the insurance claim. And then now you mentioned billing for portal messages. They work the same way. You can have a portal message thread that goes back and forth, add diagnoses or orders or, or even like photos and screenshots, and bill it just as you would a phone note. Okay, Douglas. Realistically, is my practice going to get paid for these encounters? Payer response is varied, but PCC knows that pediatric practices are getting paid. We recommend practices set this up, get serious about billing these, and work with your payers. Uh, this is an important way you care for patients. It can be coded, billed, and paid for. And if I've got questions, maybe I want to customize my phone note or clean up my electronic encounter form. Reach out to PCC. Our support teams and all departments are open, currently working from their home offices, and they want to help.